Hello, today I'm going to be doing a story time about the Janome HD3000. This particular machine has been in the news a lot lately and I just thought that I would address the issues surrounding the machine because it actually reveals a much bigger problem surrounding the domestic sewing machine industry as a whole when it comes to product specifications. Before we get into talking about everything, please do subscribe and tap that notification bell to receive updates. Just to forewarn you, I will continually be mentioning amperage, and amperage is the strength of an electrical current. There are also other terms that are important to know about, and I have listed them up here on screen, but I will not go into grave detail about those things because I don't want to bog down this video with terminology. The Janome HD3000 released in 2012, but the earliest YouTube videos that I can find of the machine come from 2015. Of course, there are earlier models of this machine that were out just with different badge numbers, but that is besides the point. From the very beginning, this machine was advertised as a heavy duty workhorse that could power through multiple layers of denim. Online reviewers gave this machine stellar reviews and even demonstrated how it could power through multiple layers of leather. This was extremely appealing to the online bag making community, which used this machine as an entry level bag making machine as it came in at a affordable price point. Customers seemed pretty satisfied with the HD3000 until around 2020 when they started leaving negative reviews. Wondering why the machine only had a 0.5 amp motor and even claiming that the machine didn't have the power that it once had. My first instinct was to go over to the Janome website and to look at the specifications to see whether or not there was a 0.5 amp motor inside of the machine. But the specifications did not tell me anything about the motor at all. In fact, once I went to all of the other sewing machines on the website, there was also no amperage listed on any of the machines. So I took it up on myself to see if this was just something that Janome does or if it's something across the industry. And what I found was that not a single website, not a single one in the domestic sewing machine industry currently shows the amperage of their motors. Since I wasn't able to get the information that I needed from any website, I decided to go to eBay of all places to see whether or not there would be a label on the machine that would tell me what I wanted to know about the motor. So I found two different Janome HD3000 machines. One of them has a one amp motor in it and the other one has a 0.5 amp motor in it. I instantly wondered whether or not it was just the black version that had the 0.5 amp motor in it. So I called a dealership and asked them to go out onto the floor and look at the HD3000 to see what the amperage on the motor was. And to my surprise, they said that the amperage on the motor was 0.5 on the white machine, of course. The dealer was super helpful and even volunteered a little information. He said that the manufacturers of all of the companies never give them specific information about the specifications on a machine, that they only receive information about the features of the machine, like the amount of stitches that the machine comes with. Even after hearing all of this information, I still wanted to give Janome the benefit of the doubt. So I went back to their website to see if I could get in contact with someone from support. And of course, they don't have any live tech support or any live chat. And I would have had to send them an email and wait for a response, which I have no idea how long that would take. So what I did was I went back to the forums once again to see if I could find some information that would shed some light on what is actually going on here. And I found one comment that I found interesting that may shed some light on what's going on, but I cannot be for sure. The comment reads as follows. The change from one amp to 0.5 amp motor can be explained by manufacturers switching from series round motors to permanent magnet motors. This is something the automotive industry has been doing for years. Just look up discussions about which motors and you'll find very good reason why permanent magnet motors provide the same torque using less amperage. The newer PM motors are just more efficient using less amperage and running cooler than the old series round motors. 
To research this claim further, I went online and looked for a replacement motor for a Janome HD3000. I found a replacement motor, but the specifications on the motor does not say whether or not it is a permanent magnet motor or a series wound one. I ran across this extremely long comment on a forum and I just thought that I would pull out a few snippets from it to see if we can get some insight from it. It reads as follows. I spoke with a Janome customer service manager who advised that the 0.5 amp motor is no different than the 1 amp motor that was discontinued in 2018. At first, I was told the new smaller motor was chosen because the incandescent work light was updated to an LED. I don't see how opting for a higher efficiency LED work light precipitated substituting a new motor rated at half the amperage of the original motor. No explanation was given, and I thought maybe it's an attempt at energy efficiency, but if that were the case, the Janome rep surely would have explained it as such. It looks like the only way to determine if you have a permanent magnet motor would actually be to put a metal object by the motor and see if it has any type of magnetic charge. I currently don't have the type of money needed to buy two HD3000 machines to actually take them apart and see inside of both motors to see what type of motors were offered on both machines. But I'm just going to leave that right there and let you decide for yourself. Do you think that Janome did a bait and switch on customers and switched out the 1 amp motor for a weaker 0.5 amp motor? Or do you think that Janome actually upgraded the motors and made it a permanent magnet motor that's stronger than the motor that was on there before? Either way, this discussion sheds light on a much bigger issue. And that is the fact that a lot of companies are not disclosing the specifications of their products. And it's a little concerning because you want to know what you're buying before you purchase it. And you can't always rely on the product reviews because those reviews may not be up to date with what's currently going on with said product. So what do you all think? What is the solution to this particular issue? And how can we remedy this as a community? Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to receive more sewing related content. Peace.